The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. Orion and the Dark is this week's latest film from Netflix. Uh, it's for kids, mostly seven and up. It's about a, a creature and a young boy called Orion as it's already in the title. This creature is called Dark, the darkness. So I love the concept about this is there is night and day. There's a creature who's responsible for the day and the creature is responsible for the night. And the creature who's responsible for the day is all macho and cool. And the creature responsible for night is all gloom and dark and sad and lonely. Because he feels that in the dark, nothing Ever great happens no one appreciates him. spoilers alert he will disappear at one point being swallowed by the day darkness will be swallowed by light and light will be miserable without the dark because everybody's awake all the time and no one really appreciates him and when darkness comes back everyone will appreciate him more and he'll feel great about himself even light will appreciate darkness more after realizing without the dark light is just dull and annoying and everything else dies because not everything can stay awake forever so people get cranky they start fighting creatures who are supposed to wake up at night don't come out so they sleep so I must say that this really was touching of course and i love the concept that this was a story within a story like the whole concept is orion is telling his daughter a story a bedtime story and he comes up with this orion in the dark and throughout the story he stumbles and his daughter sort of chips in into the story and they make it what it is they blossom it they enrich it they pour it into it and make it an incredible story that it is now did i enjoy this of course i did am i seven years old no but it was nice so i think parents and children will indulge in this with great enthusiasm i love the whole concept that when the future comes uh, it happens to be darkness's great grandchild it's quite a touching so this story by by pretends they will keep telling it for eternity. Keep adding a new detail. The kid will add a new detail. It could be told for a thousand years. Orion in the Dark. Really incredible story if you tell me. If I tell you about it. So, on a scale of 1 to 10. On enjoyment, I'd give it an 8. If I was a kid, I'd give it a 9. But it teaches that give it a 10. Don't be afraid of the dark. There's beauty in the dark. There's beauty in the noise. There's beauty in the silence. There's beauty in your dreams. There's beauty in your nightmares. There's beauty in your insomnia. And the fact that they somehow made sure that every creature is responsible for some sort of thing that happens in life. Those unexplainable noises at night uh, the the creaking the, the rustle of the trees whatever it is that keeps you up at night there's a god responsible for that you know those horrible days where you cannot sleep for the life of you and you're constantly constantly uh, you know engulfed by anxiety and uh, worry there's a god responsible for that and the whole point uh, where sleep puts you to sleep is really cool. It's like, she really smothers you. She puts sleep chloroform on your face. Puts a pillow over your face. And then after killing you into your sleep, <laughs> kisses you. The kiss of sleep. Beautiful. And then dream is all mystical and stuff. She just looks at what you thought of it at night and just haunt enhances it. And gives you a grand 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 i love the fact that they made sure that when you have a nightmare 
you are somehow responsible or something is responsible. But I feel like they should have had someone who was been who would have been responsible for nightmares. And he or she and Dream would have had to play rock, paper, scissors, or a game of checkers, or a game of poker as they play in the story of a game where whoever wins gets to decide if this person is getting sweet dreams or horrible nightmares. And what about when someone has two, when you have a great dream and a horrible nightmare? Would they collide together? That, that would be an interesting thing, in my personal opinion. But it still works great, but it seems like Dream is so fixated on making people have great dreams instead of nightmares, and somehow we influence that, in a way. So, you know. Overall, great, great, great movie. And I think everyone should watch it and have a blast. Well, that's it for me. Uh, the movie, by the way, it's an hour and 32 minutes long. Of course, the, the other, you could say it's an hour and 30 minutes long because the other two minutes is pretty much the credits. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.